From the News 19 Weather Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte. Well, as we started tracking this tropical cyclone, when it first came off the African coastline, made its way all the way across the Atlantic, and then by July 29th at 11 in the evening, the National Hurricane Center indicated and named Tropical Storm Isaias. Well, then it moved through the Dominican Republic all the way through the Bahamas. We tracked it as it went up the coast of Florida, not making landfall yet until this evening. Now, as we got into the evening on Monday night, the National Hurricane Center gave an update at 11 o'clock indicating that Hurricane Isaias had wind speeds of 85 miles an hour, gusting to 105, moving quickly to the north-northeast at 22 miles an hour. Its last position at that time was indicated 30 miles west of Wilmington, North Carolina, and it was very indicated by the rain that was moving through and the wind speeds, well, it was confirmed from the National Hurricane Center that at approximately 11.10 on Monday evening, Tropical uh, Hurricane Isaias made landfall in the area right around Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, about 30 miles to the east northeast of Myrtle Beach. But a confirmation was made that Monday night. Now, once the landfall was made, noticeably a lot of the showers and storms kept on pushing out along with the hurricane, with some outer bands to the south of significant thunderstorms moved off the coast of Georgia and some thunderstorms through the Appalachians. But overall, the intensity and the hurricane finally came out to an end as far as the Midlands concerned and out of the eastern portions of South Carolina. So what does that do for our weather? Well, by the morning, the rain already have ended and we'll start off with a low of 71 degrees. Tomorrow, we're back to summer weather. A very isolated chance may see a rogue late afternoon, early evening storm. Otherwise, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 92. But now that we're not dealing with any tropical cyclones, hurricanes, or anything of the sort, we're back to our typical summer weather. Thursday afternoon, pop-up storms are possible, a high of 91. Friday and Saturday, as a quasi-cold front starts making its way towards South Carolina, we do have a chance for thunderstorms, and it will stall out, so that'll give us a chance for possibly strong thunderstorms. Highs will be back in the mid-90s. Then once that pushes off, a chance for afternoon storms again on Sunday with a high of 92, up to 96 on Monday, 96 on Monday, 91 on Tuesday, with an isolated chance for more showers or thunderstorms.